All right, boys, let's talk about my passing settings. Everybody asks me this question, what are your passing settings? What do you use to pass? Uh, what are your free form settings? One, I think it's all kind of unnecessary. It doesn't change that much. I will tell you, show you guys my settings right now. And people ask me, do you free form every pass? Absolutely not. Uh, if it's, a, if it's, you know, I mean, not every pass, no. But I would probably say 50% of the time something around there but you got to know when you got a free form one free form is not the reason you're throwing bad passes the game is bugged right now maybe it is the reason if you're gonna throw a bad pass you're gonna throw a bad pass the quarterbacks are pretty weak but all right let's go game options this is what i got right now placement accuracy is what you need one i want to reiterate right now that if you're using classic it's time to get with the times you need to use free form they put it in a the game. They're going to make you use it. You're going to get better throws. Your drags will be better. Your streaks will be better. Your corner routes will be better. Everything. You're going to get further away in man coverage. Get off a of classic. Get on the free form. I was stubborn a little bit for like two days last year. You need it to play. All right? And if you want to be on classic, just understand you won't be able to make the throws. Your plays won't be as good. You're, you won't beat man coverage as well. You won't be able to throw between Jones as well. Period. You just won't. That's how the game's made. Now, this is just regular pass lead we've always had, but... Let me show you guys essentially what's going on here. So placement accuracy, uh, classic, don't be on that. Placement, placement accuracy. One, accuracy is not even a thing. Doesn't even make sense. Doesn't even do anything. The meter the meter you see does absolutely nothing. All it does here is where the ball is going to be thrown when you use the left trigger, okay? Number one thing you need to do, free form, reticle, max different dif distance, near. Far, you're going to overthrow passes. You're going to do too much. No max is actually a lunacy to put that on. Uh, you want to be on near. Now, the freeform reticle speed doesn't matter as much because, why? Because if you're on near, your reticle cannot escape the throwing radius anyway. All you're going to be able to do is put the, thro put the throwing reticle or where the ball goes within that catch radius of your receiver because you're on near. If you went to far, then you'll then exceed that catch radius. That's when you'll really be smoking passes. And let's be honest, nobody wants to smoke passes. The game's already going to smoke passes for you. You don't want to do them yourself. So... Uh, near is the most important thing. Freeform reticle speed, like I said, it doesn't really matter because you're you, essentially when you get near, when you use the near feature, and I'll show you this in practice mode, is that the ball cannot then escape the the black circle that's yeah. under the feet. I'm gonna be doing a corner route to AJ Brown here. Like you won't go too far outside of that black circle, maybe four feet. But if you went no max or far, then you're going way too far out of that circle. You know, we got to overthrow. Oh, we don't. There you go. So that that's what you want. Like I said, I'm loving 2020. I'm loving near distance so we don't go outside of that. We don't want to go outside of that there um, circle when we throw the ball. So you're not going to mess up. I don't like to try to time left trigger. I want to hold left trigger and I want to throw it to the sideline. Oh, a little bit too much right there. I think I do that before the break. A little bit before the break sometimes you gotta do that right boys okay we're getting smoked over here one thing i don't like as much here this year okay let's just try it no free form maybe it's the throw i'm throwing okay now we're getting off of 20 now let's go to let's lower it down i was 720 last year this year, I just realized I don't really like 20 that much just because of that play alone. Let's go 15. Let's smoke a little 15. Near. Near is most important, though. Go 15. Better, 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 better. Maybe this is where I land. Now, I'll be honest, I don't think it matters that much. You know, I really don't. Don't think it matters that much. The most important thing you got, one, take away from this video. The best thing to take away from this video right now, boys, is one, you need free form. If you're on classic, get off it, use free form. You can make better passes. You can throw the ball better. Two, the only thing that really matters is near, far, or no max. Put it on near, then your reticle won't be able to move outside that circle, and you'll be able to go ahead and, and make passes, put it to the left, put it to the right, lob deep down the field, whatever it may be. Uh, and then the sensitivity of the reticle means probably the least to me. 
Uh, you want to be able to make some good throws. You want to be able to like and not get over throws. I would say anywhere between seven and fifteen. Maybe ten is perfect. You know, it's not going to change the game that much for you. People are open. They're open. But these are the passing settings I use. I think they're the best in the game, and I want to just reiterate that to you guys. Let you guys know essentially um, how I use passing and what you should be doing, and how you should be moving on and passing the ball in Madden 24.